I see you made it back over here for some more tool tips from Uncle Eddie the Tool Guy. I guess if you don't have any tools and you want to know what the basic stuff is that you should get, you've come to the right blog right now. We're talking about household tools and just the bare minimum tools you should you should own here. Um, this is my bucket. I got it's a five gallon bucket and it has this little tool caddy on it. It's really handy. I really like it. I take it with me when people call me because believe it or not, when you know how to do something, you get called. Hey, my thing broke over here. You gotta come fix it, or you know it's not so um this is my kind of like to go deal um you know like the doctor making the house call he's got his little doctor bag with his stethoscope and all that stuff in it well that's what this is anyway basic tools you know you should get a set of screwdrivers the flat heads and the phillips you know this uh these channel lock brand pliers they're pretty cool you know they, they expanded get you some bite on whatever it is you're doing you know your standard uh, slip joint style pliers and then of course you got to have your uh, your locking pliers all right for that just that stubborn bolt or that stubborn whatever you gotta really get some bite on okay um those are basic tools and then you know just a utility knife markers, uh, carpenter's pencils, okay, and then if you're going to have the carpenter pencils, you know, I see guys, they try to be cool, and like they're Jed Clampett, and uh, they're trying to whittle it, no, that's how you cut your finger open, and believe me, I've cut my finger open, and uh, I can give you an informed opinion on that, it's not good times, it's not fun, it's not debonair, it's not, uh, it doesn't make you any more worldly, it just hurts, okay? There's, you know, it's just real inconvenient and uh, painful, and you, you don't want to do it, okay? So I recommend this little tool if you're gonna, you know, they're not expensive. You're not gonna have to, you know, pay twenty dollars a month for uh, six months or whatever for it. It's a couple bucks at the any hardware store, any good hardware store should have one. Uh, it's to sharpen these uh, contractor style pencils you know, make a mess and whatnot. But uh, I, I recommend if you're going to have this style pencil, you uh, you get one of these. Anyway, that's a basic thing that you should have. A tape measure, of course. Measure twice. Cut once. Okay? That's the basic rule of thumb and whatnot. So, um, what else do we got here that we can talk about? Oh, yeah. So when you're hanging a picture, a stud finder, if you're hanging a pretty heavy deal, you know. Seems to be, maybe we'll need to change the batteries here. And so if you're hanging a picture and then um, a hammer, this is a, um, a framing hammer actually. This is for building a house, but uh, it's what I, I have, you know, you're going to, you need a good claw hammer pulling nails and fixing stuff. Uh, a pipe wrench for when you gum up the plumbing. When you drop a, you know, you drop your pearls or your uh, your ring down the sink. I'm not gonna name any names. But um, anyway, there's that. And then clamps. These are your best little friends. So you know. We, and then um, we got the clamps, a level, like we talked about hanging pictures, you know, so you got the stud finder, your level, your hammer, okay, that's good for that, you know, like you said, so, and then, you know, sometimes, you know, you move into a place and you buy your furniture and whatnot, you know, sometimes they don't give you the right ones, these are the little Allen tools. So, for screwing together your furniture and stuff. So now when you break your furniture, because you've screwed it in too tight, because I know that's what everybody's done. Get your wood glue and your clamp. Or I like these little clamps. 
they're cheap. They're like a buck at uh, Harbor. You know, I don't, uh, I don't remove the tags. I'm going mini pearl style here. Um, yeah, these are the little clamps I use and stuff. They're kind of convenient and handy to have. Um, you know, of course, you know, you're going to want gloves and safety equipment, eye protection, that kind of thing, mask, whatnot. Uh, that should be in your bucket. Another thing is uh, screws. I found this industrial uh, assortment. It comes with like three different or four different style of screws here and uh, whatnot, different sizes and stuff. It was like $10 at Walmart, I think it was. And um, I liked it. So, oh yeah, and I mentioned your adjustable wrench, right? Okay, so when you're, when you're, uh, nuts and bolts are uh, trans size here or uh, whatever it fits whatever it is that day like I said so because right now you might not have enough money to go out and just buy a whole set of wrenches which is fun don't get me wrong I like going and buying a bunch of wrenches I, uh, I have tons and tons of them myself but just to get you by this is uh, like I said, this is a more basic set of tools. I'm not telling you go out and be a master mechanic with this. You're not going to really go out and work on your uh, your car, but this is just some basic tools around the house. It, it's not every tool you're going to need for around the house, and I'm sure I got more videos coming up of uh, more things you're going to need, different kind of tools to fix sinks and faucets and drains and bathtubs and whatnot. So, if you're interested in all that stuff, you can hang around, give us a like, comment. If you think there's other tools that you might need that are basic, uh, go ahead and give a comment. We'd like to hear from you. But, um, anyway, you know, but if you are a tool yourself, don't comment. Anyway, um... Yeah, so just give us a like, give us a comment, follow us on Facebook, I'm Glady the Tool Guy Official. And, um, yeah, you know, if you like it, subscribe, everything like that. If you don't, well, I have an idea, but, you know, I would wash my mouth out with soap if I told you what it was. Anyway, I'll see you when I see you. Bye. Uncle Eddie the Tool Guy here, hanging out in the motorhome, eating some peanuts, filming some video. I just want to remind you guys that uh, every Sunday and every Thursday we'll be releasing new videos. So make sure you hit like and subscribe so you can keep up with our latest tool tips and tricks and stuff here. And my latest shenanigans. Anyway, you can also like us on Facebook and Instagram. Facebook, we're Uncle Eddie the Tool Guy Official. And Instagram, I don't know right now what it is but it's there anyway um yeah so make sure you subscribe share with your friends like our videos comment tell us what you want to know about and stuff like that anyway i'll see you when i see you